HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the New England Sports Center for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. Today we are in rink two. The Hillers are the home team, and they will be taking on the Norwood Mustangs. Both teams have had great seasons so far. The Hopkinton Hillers did not lose a game until last Saturday when they went to Westwood. They fell to the Wolverines two to one. The Hillers are 13-1 and 0 on the season. Norwood is 12-1 and 2. Joe Frackleton on camera. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi, happy to be with you on the call. Eric, we got a great TVL large matchup today between two very talented teams. The Hillers did beat Norwood 8-1 in the last meeting, but I don't expect that we'll have a game uh, similar to that. Today. Yeah, this time of the year, Tom, I think you can throw all the records right out. I mean, it's. Uh, Coming down to the end stretch here, everyone's trying to go into the playoffs with a real good uh, field here. So it's kind of not, if you're going to lose a game, I guess it's good for the Hillers to get out of the way now near the uh, the end of the season. At least enough to worry about that, uh, looking at that undefeated streak, don't have to concentrate on that. But they've been, still been playing real well. It's looking for a good matchup tonight. It certainly should be. Norwood is on a five game winning streak. They've beaten some great teams as of late. So they are coming into this game hot and certainly looking for revenge on the Hopkinton Hillers. But I think the Hillers would like to rebound after a tough loss to Westwood last Saturday. Right now we're going to set it down to rinkside for the opening announcements and the national anthem. Hillers hockey on the way right here on HCAM. So I don't think they're going to have any opening announcements, but the national anthem will be upcoming, so we'll certainly pause for that. But in the meantime, let's talk a little bit more about this matchup. The Hillers coming off a tough loss to Westwood, as I mentioned. Before that, they won their first 13 games of the season. Certainly an impressive run, but all great streaks have to come to an end sometime. And I'm sure the Hillers are happy that that happened during the season. Rather than playoff time, obviously, the postseason will certainly be a long road. But right now, we'll set it down to ringside for the National Anthem.
there you have it. We are ready for hockey here on HCAM. Our goalie matchup today is Brendan Bartuka for Norwood up against Gray Bailey for the Hopkinton Hillers. And unfortunately for the Hillers, Sean Walsh inactive today, but they certainly have enough talent to fill his spot, although it is always a tough scenario when you don't have Sean Walsh available. Taking a look at the starters for the Hillers, you got Kyle Rogers out there, Will Quinlan, Tommy Hamblett, Pavit Mara, and Andrew Gilbert on the starting line for the Hillers. And we are ready to go. Pavit Mara going to take the opening faceoff for Hopkinton up against Jake Russo for Norwood. And we are underway here at the New England Sports Center. Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. Joe Frackleton on camera. The Hillers control coming up the near side. Mara feeds it over to Hamlet. He will knock the puck over to the far side corner as the Hillers make a quick change. Norwood trying to work it up ice. Quinlan gets in there and he's followed up by Dan Kirk. Gilbert gives it a slap around the near side. Over towards Weinstock it goes. Weinstock trying to track it down in the corner out of the grasp of Marchant who sends it up the boards. Now it's set over to the near side. Gilbert tracking it down. Gilbert trying to turn it around and was able to get a shot off, but Catalano was there to interfere. And we will have a faceoff with 14-16 left to go in the first period. Well, with a week off, Tom, you see good energy here for the Hills to come out to start, get that puck in deep there, and a couple of quick shifts, and they're able to keep that puck in. And I think that week off is very valuable for the Hillers. They've had a lot of tough opponents as of late. Although they haven't made it look like a tough schedule, they've been playing a lot of hockey lately, so I think a week off certainly did them well. As George Tolman knocks it up the near side towards Mateer. Mara gets in there, here comes Mateer. He's going to be deferred by Manser. And now jammed up right in front of us along the near side. Trying to dig it out was Manser, and getting a stick in there was Rogers. Batted off the boards by Ledger into the Hiller's zone. It'll be tracked down by Sheamus, and that will draw out the whistle. We'll have an icing. 13.46 left to go in the first period. Taking a look at some of the point leaders in this game, you've got Pavard Mera, 11 goals, 14 assists, 25 points. Sean Walsh, 16 goals, 29 assists, 45 points. Kyle Rogers, 19 goals, 12 assists, 31 points for the Hillers. And of course, Tommy Hamlet, 11 goals, 21 assists, 32 points overall. We'll get you some Norwood leaders as well in just a moment. As the Mustangs trying to work into Hiller's territory. And here's a shot, and it is going to be deferred. That was off the stick of Harry Gover. Up along the far side boards now, here comes Mera. Mera sends it up to Hamlet. Hamlet with a wrister, and that's a glove save by Barduka. Ray Billy with a nice save there, and the Hill is able to quick transition, get that puck up and get a good shot off. I just wonder if Norwood calls their goalie Tuka. <laughs> For Norwood, you got Anthony Marchant with eight goals, 18 assists, 26 points. As there's a quick shot and a goal! How about that? And that was Cam Jarrett. I think that might have gone off a leg in front. It took a strange bounce, but what a good shot right off the point. Nice face-off win. The Hillers are always good at those offensive face-offs. How about that power? The goal comes with 13-19 left in the first period. And we'll get a confirmation on the goal score, but it was Cam Jarrett on the shot. Yeah, I think it went off a Norwood defenseman. That, that would still go to Jarrett, I believe. Yes, yep. Into the Hillers zone. How about Jarrett with his second goal of the season? Five points overall for Cam Jarrett. Weinstock trying to put it back into Norwood territory. Here's Jarrett getting in there. Weinstock up the far side. He's going to be knocked down. Quinlan gets the stick in there, and it's turned away by Bartuka. Popped off the boards by Kirk. Over the corner it goes. Quinlan trying to track it down. With possession, that's Connor Leiden. And meeting up with him was Curtis Terry, who just recently hopped into the game. Norwood trying to work it up the far side. Here comes Russo. 
Norwood in the midst of a change. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert was trying to skate it up the near side. He got deferred by Leiden. Now working up ice, Max Sharkley. Sharkley with a shot, turned away. Jammed up along the corner. And we have an injured Norwood Mustang down. That's going to force the I think there's going to be a penalty for Borden. And the shooken up player appears to be Max Sharkley. Saprocious is going to head to the box. So Norwood will be on the power play for the next two minutes. Rogers in on the faceoff with Jake Russo. Turned back up ice there by Catalano. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Getting a stick in there was Aiden Walsh. And Rogers was looking for a shot but was deferred. Along the near side, Leiden sends it over. Taken by Rogers. Here he comes. A nice move there. Look out. Approaching. There's a shot turned away. Working it up the ice is Russo. And he'll put it around the boards. Tracked down along the far side by Sheamus. And Sheamus tripped up along the boards. Puck still out there. Norwood looking for a shot here. And it is going to be turned away. A great save by Bailey. Shot was off the stick of Russo. Chances at both ends. The Hillers have been really productive this year on the uh, penalty kill. And the penalty was actually a five minute major, so there's 417 left to go on the penalty kill. Dan Kirk in on the faceoff for the Hillers against Jake Russo. Quinlan gets the stick on it. Nice job by Quinlan clearing it away. Picking it up behind the net, Russo, he'll leave it for DeBlasi and Kirk with a big hit there. Along the near side, Spadorcia sends it over. And he was turned away by Barnes, jammed up along the boards now. Quinlan trying to get in there. All kinds of traffic in front, there's a shot and it's wrapped up by Bailey, a great save. Jack Leiden had the shot from the lower slot area and Bailey able to wrap it up. You know, and Bailey's been busy early here. He's made some three or four good saves already. And a few here on this power play. And on the faceoff for the Hillers is Curtis Terry up against Kyle Cahill. Sends it over. One timer there. It's going to be turned away by Barnes. Sent up the near side into Norwood territory. Approaching 11 minutes left to go in the first period. Hillers leading Norwood one to nothing. Weinstock trying to get in there. Jarrett. And a collision amongst Norwood players in the neutral zone. Along the far side, that's Mateer sending it back. Here comes Leiden. Leiden trying to work it up the far side. Sends it back and he takes a big hit as well. And that was sent across by Catalano, jammed up along the corner now. Taken by Weinstock. Here comes Weinstock on a break. It's one on one. Weinstock with a shot a little wide. There's Weinstock up against Catalano. A nice play by Weinstock there. He trying to draw the defenseman over and shot it back to the other side. I'm trying to catch the goalie moving. 243 and counting left on the five minute major. Norwood on the power play. Gilbert. Able to pop it off the boards. It's going to be taken by Marchant. He'll send it over to the far side. And here comes Norwood working it up the ice. Marchant sends it back over to Spinorcia. Jammed up along the corner now. Gilbert trying to get in there. And work it away from Marchant. Gilbert and Marchant continue to do battle. And Gilbert able to send it away. Popped off the far side boards, Carrazzi gets in there, and now a battle here in the slot areas. That was Quinlan trying to get a shot off up against Spadorcia. Spadorcia working it up the near side. Runs into Quinlan, able to get around him, but there to turn him away was Aiden Walsh. Gover catches up with it along the far side for Norwood. 
Pass Quinlan, lighted on a potential break, but the puck got away from him, and he'll meet up with Manser along the corner. But Orsia gets in there, sends it back over, looking for the backhander, and Aiden Walsh able to send it away, and Jarrett sent it away for sure. Good kill here so far for the Hillers. A little over a minute left. 120 and counting left on the penalty kill of the five minute major for the Hillers. Ledger sends it up over to Mateo. Mateo looking for a shot. Gilbert in front of him. Sends it back. There's a one timer there by Ledger, and it's going to be wrapped up by Bailey. Another good save there. So the Hill is doing a good job keeping Norwood to the uh, outside, not letting any good shots come in from down low in the middle. Joe Carrazzo up against Miles Kidd on the faceoff. Rogers got the stick in there, now it's sent away by Carrazzo. All the way down it goes off the stick of Bartuka. Ledger gets to it, sends it up the near side to Leiden. Leiden working across, Rogers in front of him. Here comes Leiden on a break. Looking for a shot and it's in! I gotta admit, that was the beauty of a shot by Connor Leiden. Broke right up the ice past two hillers and got his second goal of the season. Yeah, he made some nice moves. He was able to make a nice move with the blue line. Get some space down the middle, did the same thing. Brought the goalie over to the right and shoot back to the left. Still 44 seconds on the five minute major. Obviously with the major penalty, they uh, will have to work off that entire five minutes, no matter what. I think Ray Bailey had a little bit of a screen too. I don't think he got to see that one coming in. Kirk able to break free. Well, it was nearly a great major penalty kill. A one-to-one -one game. Catching up with it was Manser. Up along the near side. Around the boards it goes. Bortuka will set it up for Leiden. De Blasi working it over towards the near side. We are 15 seconds away from even strength. Russo sends it up into Hiller's territory. Caught up with by Manser. Over to Quinlan it goes. Quinlan backhands it down the ice. Artuka will set it up for Tolman. Tolman works it over to the near side of Russo. Russo able to get it into Hiller's territory. Jammed up along the corner. Sheamus is in there as he mixes it up with Mateo. Over to the blue line, looking for a quick shot there. Turned away by a number of pillars as Tolman got the stick on it. And that is going to be deferred by Bortuka as it was floating in front of the net. Sent over to the blue line to Gilbert. We are at even strength, a wrister, and that is going to be a little bit wide. He was aiming for that top right corner. Out in front, and Rogers was hoping to get a shot off, but all kinds of Norwood traffic in front of the net. Hamlet jammed up along the corner. Here comes the Mustangs, working up the near side, Marchand. And he'll send it up and around. Saporoshitz gets the stick on it. Gilbert catches up with it. And Pavit Mera now gets in on the action. Saporoshitz gonna send it down. Here comes Rogers. And Rogers with a mishandle there. Pass over to Spadorcia for Norwood. Here comes the Mustangs, working up the ice. It's Mateo, and he's going to be deferred as Rogers able to steal it away, and he's coming down the ice fast and furious. There's a wrister and a glove save. A nice shot by Rogers, but a great save by the junior goaltender, Brendan Bartuka. Now Rogers had that top corner all labeled, but a beautiful save there. 6.16 left to go in the first period. We are knotted at one apiece. Joe Carraza up against Nick Spadorcia. Brendan Allen catches up with it. Well, I think as the Hillers showed, uh, a key to, to today's game is going to be stay out of the penalty box. Along the near side, Spadorcia trying to work it up. A nice steal there by Carraza. Carraza with a backhanded pass. Aiden Walsh out in front. It's turned away. And there's a secondary shot and a glove save as Quentin Barnes got some fire on it. Now Walsh just couldn't get his hands free. Looks like he was getting a little bit of hook from behind, just enough to throw him off, but what a great pass. Well, some good goaltending in this first period as both teams have provided a whole lot of pressure in each other's defensive zones. Barnes trying to set it up over towards Carraza. Carraza comes away with it. Look out, here he comes, there's a shot turned away. 
Terry jammed up now along the corner. Getting in on the action, Aiden Walsh. Terry trying to come around with it, sends it over to Carraza. Carraza pops it up to Jarrett. Jarrett puts it in the slot area out in front and it is going to be turned away. And now Aiden Walsh doing battle along the far side corner. Terry will put it around. Carraza trying to catch up with it. And he gives a nice check over to Catalano. And Norwood finally able to get it out of their zone, but not for long as Weinstock comes into the game and knocks it to the backboard. Great shift there for the Carrazzo line. They had some real good attempts there. Leiden going to put it up the far side, and Mustangs trying to track it down. We'll have an offsides here. 4.57 left to go in the first period. Got a nice thing. We'll have a face-off in the Norwood zone. Norwood really playing a physical game time. They're really trying to uh, wear the Hillers down here, but the Hillers have been using that team speed to avoid most of the checks. Dan Kirk up against Jake Russo. Kirk is trying to get a shot off, but he was deferred. Quinlan gets in there. Hiller is certainly putting the pressure on in the last couple of minutes. Marchant comes around with the puck. Quinlan trying to sneak it away. Marchant working up the far side, a nice move there, able to get it into Hiller's territory. Over to the corner it goes. And Norwood trying to set up something here. There's a quick shot, but it's going to be stopped by Sheamus. Nice block. And here comes Sheamus up the ice, fast and furious, and he's tripped up as he flies with Ledger. Sent over to the near side, Leiden gets a stick on it. And now Sheamus with the backhander off of Leiden it goes. And it uh, looks like we're gonna have a penalty here. Looks like it's gonna be slashing. I think he's gonna get it for a trip. Just had his leg out a little bit. Kind of looked like Norwood player kind of tripped over, but looked enough to send him to the box. So Hamblett heading to the box for two minutes, and the Hillers will have to kill off another Norwood power play. 4.07 left to go in the first period. Graz up against Boothroyd on that faceoff. Graz sends it over to the blue line. Leiden able to put it back up into the Hillers' zones, but Orsi had jammed up behind the net. Dorsia chasing it down. And now a shot from the right circle, a little bit high there by Leiden. And now Rogers trying to come away with it. Here he comes up the far side. Rogers sends it over and unable to get the backhander on it was Carraza. Slight misfire there. Leiden working up the ice for Norwood. There's a wrister turned away. And Saparoshitz able to put it towards the far side. Gilbert up behind the net, matched up with Catalano. Catalano sends it over to the circle to Marchant. Marchant jammed up with Carraza. And turned away by Rogers. Picked up by Leiden. Sends it up towards Mateer. Now getting in there, Marchant. Pass to Russo along the near side. Up and around it goes, tracked down by Barnes. Barnes jammed up, Jarrett gets the stick on it. Now along the far side, Leiden, he'll get a backhander on it. Killers working against a power play here, 30 seconds left to go. As Kirk sends it up the near side, there's a wrister and a save by Bailey, that was off the stick of Kyle Ledger. And yeah, Norwood showing some real good speed of their own time. They've got, uh some good action so far on this power play, but the Hill has been able to, again, keep everything to the outside, give Bailey a good look at it, and he's able to stop those. Curtis Terry up against Miles Kidd. Norwood with one last effort here, off the glove of Bailey it goes, along the far side, popped up in the air by Ledger. It'll be knocked down by Barnes. Over to the near side now. 10 seconds left on the power play. Jarrett trying to track it down. Jarrett with the backhander to the neutral zone. And we are at even strength now as we approach two minutes left to go. Terry trying to break free. Terry along the near side corner. Looking for a shot out in front, turned away. And now Manser 
And it's stolen away as Mansur tried to send it over. A good read there. Now Norwood has a break out in front and a nice save by Bailey. Still in the danger zone, up behind the net. And Bailey able to turn away another shot. And now Spinorcia trying to sneak it out. It was Harry Gover who had the breakaway for Norwood. Ended up getting two shots off. Both great saves by Bailey. And Seamus with a good back check. Just bothered him enough so he can get good wood on it. And Hamblett with a shot and a glove save by Bartuka. We'll have a faceoff at 127 left to go in the first period. Yeah, as a defenseman, you've got to be careful when you try to go cross ice that. And that defender coming out that is not in between you and your partner there. Guess they got lucky with that one. Abbott Mira in on the faceoff. Norwood trying to attack here in the last minute or so. Gilbert. Now Norwood may have a break working up the ice. Russo. And Russo got a little tied up with Hamlet, and we have a whistle. We'll call him offside. Offsides is the call. 114 left. Well, the Hillers uh, got a whole lot left in the regular season, but still plenty of good competition. They got Oliver Ames on Monday, Holliston on Wednesday, and they head down to Martha's Vineyard for a tournament. And Saporoschitz gets it over to Gilbert. Gilbert will pop it off the boards, looking for Rogers there. Got a little away from him. Boothroyd will track it down. Rogers right behind him with a nice check. Mara trying to send it out, and it's taken by Russo. Mara and Russo get tied up, and a little swing there by Mara. No whistle, however, at least for the moment. <laughs> Here comes Norwood. Marchand up the far side. Puts it wide to the right, takes a big shot from Gilbert. Zaporoschitz, Rogers, Hamlet. Tracking it down, Ledger. Gilbert getting tied up in the neutral zone and sending it up is Graham. Up and around it goes. 25 seconds left to go in the first period. Gilbert will swing it around towards Quinlan. Along the near side now, here comes Mara. Quinlan. Quinlan working it up the ice. Two Mustangs in front of him, and he got a little shot off, turned away by Bartuka. As that is going to be stalled by Kirk, and what do we have here? They're going to call it offside. It looked to me like Kirk made a great play keeping it in. The referee behind the play, I think, was screened a little bit. All the fans are not happy about that one. <laughs> Two seconds. The fans will always make the right call. <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> Only the Hillers ones are, right? <laughs> Kirk up against Spadorcia. Saporoschitz sends it down and that'll do it. What an action-packed first period that was. After one, we're knotted at one apiece. We got ourselves a game, Eric. Yeah, that's some great intensity. You know, Norwood definitely came out to play and the Hillers with that layoff, they've definitely got their energy back. Uh, so both teams here with some good chances. Hillers maybe had a couple more, but uh, it's gonna be a tight game. Looks like three good periods here of action. Well, a whole lot more fun on the way after one period of play. It's Hopkinton 1, Norwood 1. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the Dentist at Hopkinton. The Dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. As we enter the second period, it's Hopkinton 1, Norwood 1. Tom Nappy, Eric Hardy on the call. Joe Frackleton on camera. And yeah, this could be the most competitive Hillers game that we've seen all season. Certainly the first game against Med first game of the season against Medfield was very competitive and they've had a couple pretty close games, but for the most part, the Hillers have been winning by two or more points, Eric. Yeah, and, and oh, it definitely come to play. You can see their intensity. They're matching the Hillers so far here. Dan Kirkin on the faceoff for the Hillers. Hopkinton working left to right across your screen for this second period. Over to the near side towards Marchant. And that's flipped up towards us. And, uh, I thought for sure that was going to go off the wall and uh, come right at us, Eric. Close call there, close call. But over to the fan section it goes. 
Somebody has a nice souvenir. Dan Kirk in on the face-off. I was debating if I should jump up and catch that. <laughs> Souvenir. Over to Saparoshitz. There's a wrister, turned away. Out in front, Quinlan sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot, and that is out, and that past the goal line. That's a goal! The defender tried to get the stick in there, but the official watching it the whole way saw it past the goal line. And how about that? Andrew Gilbert makes it a two-to-one game. A great puck movement to get that puck all the way up and back to Gilbert. Just broke through the pads, and the, there's a lot of water down there in the crease too, but it still had enough power on it to get over that line. Referee was in the right spot to call it. That's Gilbert's seventh goal of the season and 18th point overall. Just when you thought it was going to be a save, came right out of the glove of Bartuka, just floated just past the line. That goal comes 24 seconds into the second period as Rogers sends it over to Hamlet. Hamlet along the near side, sends it back towards Mera. Taken by Spadorcia. And now intercepted by Hamlet. Hamlet sends it back over to Gilbert. Gilbert sends it across. No one there for the Hillers, but here's Rogers with the turnaround. It certainly is a uh, wet surface out there, Eric, yep. looking at the ice. Yeah, puck just stuck on him when he tried to get that shot off. And really wet in front of the Hillers net, right down the middle. And Saparoshitz popped it off the boards, and it hit a Mustang and went out of bounds. And play goes into the protective netting. So two goals tonight from the uh, the point. The Hill has picked a good time to get the uh, some defensive scoring. Cam Jarrett and Andrew Gilbert with goals for the Hillers so far today. It's Connor Leiden with the lone Norwood goal. It's Norwood trying to retie it up here. The Hill is going to go down another man here and get a hooking. Oh boy! Third penalty of the game for the Hillers. Terry's going to go. He's just got a stick underneath. Norwood player. So Terry in the box for two minutes, and Norwood will have the man advantage. Carraza up against Russo. Along the far side. Out in front, looking for a shot here. Pass up the near side of Gover. Gover sends it down. And a misfire there by Marchant, who ended up getting a little tripped up. That answer was some good D in front. Marchant along the near side, sends it back to Gover. And some good defense there by Aiden Walsh, who may have a break. Here comes Walsh, up the ice, shot, turn away! Aiden Walsh doing his best Sean Walsh impression there. He almost had a 2 on 0. Leiden sends it back over to Russo. Russo sends it to the right circle, that shot turned away. That was off the stick of Marchant. Nice save by Bailey. Behind the net now, Marchant trying to send it out and jam it in the corner, but it's gonna be wrapped up by Bailey and all kinds of pushing going on. And is somebody going here? The official talking with Marchant. I'm not sure who initiated it. A little extra whack there, Bailey had it tied up. And Doesn't look like anybody's gonna go, just a little warning given by the official. Power play for Norwood will go on for a minute and nine seconds. Along the near side. Marchant sends it behind the net. And a nice job getting in there by Saparoshitz. As Dan Kirk gets together with Harry Gover, we get a whistle. It's gonna be a hand pass. We're gonna be all the way down the other end. For Norwood. Hillers will take it. 56 seconds left on the power play. 12.41 left to go in the second period. Certainly a physical game today, Eric. It sure is. Saparoshitz trying to get a shot off there. That was deferred by Marchant. As Kirk puts it around, looking for Quinlan. Behind the net, that's Leiden. 
Leiden sends it up to the near side. Here comes Gover along with Marchant. Got a lot of Bruins names on this roster. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be taken by Gover. Backhander pass to Spadorcia. And Kirk and Spadorcia Clyde as the puck sent up the far side. 20 seconds left on the power play. Norwood going to make one last effort here to try to score with the man advantage. Leiden coming up the ice. Sends it out. It was deflected off a defender and went off the back of the net. Sent up by Gilbert. And Gilbert got a stick on that pass coming out front. Nice play. And we are back at even strength. A nice penalty kill by the Hillers. Over towards Barnes. Sends it to the far side corner. Hamlet trying to track it down. Hamlet tied up a little bit. Sends it out to Jarrett. Jarrett looking for a shot, and it's turned away by the traffic in front of the net. Jarrett jammed up along the boards now. And here comes Norwood trying to work up ice, but Barnes had something to say about that. And then the attempted shot by Mateer is turned away as he was delivered a ferocious hit by Rogers. Along the near side. Hamlet trying to get in there, and Hamlet tripped up with Catalano. And we're going to have a call here. All kinds of pushing going on after the fact. Hamlet also lost his stick. Looks like Hillers will finally get their first power play of the game. Yeah, I figured this would be against the Mustangs. Great play by Barnes, that defensive play. He had a nice hit to stand him out the blue line, and after he got around, he was able to come back and with a nice stick check, knock that puck away. And it will indeed be Mike Catalano heading to the box for Norwood. So we'll see if the Hillers can take advantage of a power play situation. Dan Kirk up against Jake Russo on the faceoff. There's a quick shot by Quinlan turned away. Broke Tracking his, it down is Manser. Broke a stick, a shot. Out in front, and Weinstock couldn't get the shot off as in front of him was Tolman. 145 and counting left on the Hillers power play as Jarrett skates around the net. Puts it over towards Manser. Back to Jarrett. Up the near side of Weinstock. Weinstock working up the ice. And he's going to get jammed up into the boards. Along the near side, Kirk trying to get in there. Sends it back to Jarrett. Jarrett looking for a shot here. Puts it off a defender. And it's going to be a two-man advantage for the Hill. Is they going to call that? They're going to probably boarding down the corner. Someone else lost a stick. <laughs> Seen a lot of sticks go flying today, Eric. Yep. So Hillers. Sticks, fists, pucks, a little Hill bit of everything in this one. Hillers with a good opportunity here, the two-man advantage. So a minute 19. Be a little bit patient here, make sure you get a good shot on. Well, the Hillers have a, and that was a five-minute major as well, so big opportunity here for the Hillers. And now each team has had a major in this game. Mara. Sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert back to Mara one time or turned away. Mara along the corner. Sends it out in front and it's turned away. He was looking to get it off the stick of Hamlet. Saparoshitz. He'll take a shot, turned away. I have a feeling it's going to be a shooting fest for a few minutes here. Mara, wide right. Gilbert tracks it down along the near side. Pops it off the boards towards Rogers. Rogers out to Mara. Mara sends it over and a misfire there by Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz with the back pass looking for Hamlet. Mara racing in. There's a shot and a goal! Have it, Mara! And how about that, Rister? Beautiful shot. Took that off the boards. Took it right out to the middle, and I think he was able to use a little bit of a screen and put that right in the top corner. The goal comes with 9.24 left to go in the second period. And the Hillers will still have a four-minute power play. So the two-man advantage has expired, but it is still a one-man advantage for the next four minutes, seven seconds. And with the majors, you can score as many as you can get. Well, if there was ever an opportunity in this game to put it away. This is it. Hamlet and Mare at the line, and it's going to be tracked down by Gilbert. 
Puck was on a, the center line for a good few seconds there. As it was tied up, Mara working up the far side. Here comes Mara, he has speed, look out. Surrounded by Mustangs, Gilbert right behind him. Gilbert works it into the corner, sends it back towards Mara. Mara over to Saparoshit. Saparoshit sends it across. Gilbert with a shot, and that's in! Goal, Hillers! Andrew well, Gilbert with I, a second goal. And that should have been in. I think it was on the post, Tom. I think it just kicked back. I thought that went in. Yeah, I think he blew the whistle prematurely because he lost sight of it. I could have sworn that went off the corner of that. We'll have to, we'll have to watch the tape on that <laughs> HPM one. HPM replay. I got to see that one again. I, all the fans thought it was in too, but Hillers did keep playing out there, so maybe they knew it. My eyes might have deceived me. We'll see. <laughs> Tough from the advantage point. Kirk up against Spadorcia. Sends it back. Jarrett. Well, I was trying to encourage the officials to give him the goal. Yeah, it was a <laughs> great passing play to set that up by the Hillers. Quinlan trying to sneak in there as it's jammed up between Weinstock and Catalano. Quinlan able to sneak it out. Sends it up to Manser. Now Jarrett. Back to Manser. Manser with a shot, and that is going to be wrapped up by Bartuka. Three minutes, 11 seconds left on the major, and the Hiller's man advantage. The Hiller's got some real good puck movement and in, in control in this uh, power play so far. They've had some real good looks, some great chances. They're really doing well in the power play tonight. Kirk up against Russo. Sends it back over to Manser. Now Jarrett. Jarrett across, looking for a one-timer there was Kirk. As Quinlan puts it back towards Weinstock. Weinstock trying to send it up to Manser. Quinlan now. Quinlan flips it off the glass, looking for Weinstock. Weinstock tied up with Leiden. Back to Manser. And Manser took a shot right off a of Mustang. In front of him was Leiden. Now Norwood looking for a break here. Jarrett meets up with Marshan along the near side as he'll send it around. Two minutes, 30 seconds left to go on the Hillers power play. And Quinlan was tripped up in the Hillers defensive zone. Up and around goes Ledger. Along the near side, that's Jarrett. And he gets tied up with Marshant. Marshant trying to sneak it away and will do so. Norwood looking for an opportunity here despite the Hillers man advantage. Here comes Mara. And the freshman is deferred there by Mateo. Jarrett sends it up to Hamblin. Around the net goes Mateo. Mateo sends it back, and Rogers was there to pick it up. Now Manser will send it around. Up the far side, it floats. Hamblin tracks it down, sends it over to Mara. Mara puts it off the boards. Along the near side, Hamlet and Mara in there as Hamlet will send it out. And Norwood trying to turn it away. Norwood, I think, uh, picked up on the fact they need to get more aggressive, get the puck out of their zone. Mara to Rogers, shot, turned away, secondary shot in! Saparosius on the rebound! 4 1 Hillers. Again, good puck move by the Hillers, nice passing. Zaporosius went right to the net. Was able to pick up that rebound wide open. The goal comes with 6.35 left to go in the second period. A 4-1 lead for the Hillers. Drew Zaporosius with his second goal of the season. Kyle Rogers with his 13th assist of the season. And the Hillers will still be on the power play. That's right, for the next minute and 17 seconds. Whenever I see this uh, situation, it just reminds me of that playoff game between, who was it, Vegas and San Jose last year. Yep. Where Vegas was up big and then San Jose scored four goals on a major. Caused Winland. A, caused a rule change. Right. I like it. Kirk. Winland. Kirk along the corner, sends it up to Manser. Cross to Jarrett. Jarrett sends it out. Manser. Kirk along the corner. The Hillers just looking for their opportunity here to get a shot off. Over to Jarrett, and he'll take a stab at it, but send it wide. 
Popped off the glass along the near side. Jarrett trying to get to it. And Norwood able to send it away for the moment. And it is going to be tracked down by Manser. And here comes Terry. And it's sent out by Kirk. Jammed up along the near side. And there's a one-timer by Saparosha. It's wide to the right. Along the near side, Saparoshitz. Now tied up along the backboards. Sent up by Norwood as they're trying to, they have successfully killed off the rest of the five minute major. Here comes Carraza, there's a shot in it. It's going to be just wrapped up by Bartuka. Almost got away from him again. The Hill is really putting on some good pressure. And we'll have a face-off in the Norwood zone. I right, get tight on this Norwood team's really impressed me. I think they're the only team that's been able to match the Hill of speed this year. They've been real good on the back check. Well, the penalties in the second period have really hurt Norwood. Yes. Yep. Barnes sends it up. And Hamlet was trying to send it across to Mara. Barnes tied up along the corner. Looking to get a shot off here, perhaps a pass out to Rogers. Barnes doing battle with a couple of Mustangs. Hamlet will get in there now. Official had a jump out of the way. Cahill trying to come around with it for Norwood. Sent out over towards Rogers, and then Hamlet got a stick on it. It was just turned away by Bartuka. And we get a whistle. That came off the moorings. Again, good work down low by the Hillers. So doing some great forechecking, and they're getting that pass right out front. 4.17 left to go in the second period. And against this Norwood team, certainly have to keep your foot on the gas if you're the Hillers. This Norwood team could put up a lot of goals as well. Kirk in on the faceoff. Saparoshitz. Along the near side, trying to work it up. Kirk will send it forward. Quinlan trying to track it down in the corner. Gilbert up towards Quinlan and around it goes. Tracked down by Tolman. Kirk trying to sneak it away along the far side, but Norwood with a potential break here, looking for a shot sent out in front, turned away. That was Jake Russo with a nice break. Saparosha with a great play laying out, blocked that pass. But there's that Norway speed, Norwood speed. Here comes Weinstock. Weinstock along the near side boards. Up and around he goes. Holding on to it, trying to send it out to Quinlan. It's turned away. Gilbert with a shot. And that is turned away by Bartuka. And <laughs> a Norwood Mustang Jake Russo lost his stick along the far side, was still trying to defend. Saparosha. Almost made the play with a skate. He almost did. Saparosha is tied up with Marshan along the near side. Terry gets in there. Terry sends it back to Aiden Walsh. Walsh to Saparosha. one timer. Sent it wide. Back to Saparosha. And this time he'll send it to the far side corner. Peraza trying to get in there and pick it up. Terry sends it back to Aiden. Aiden Walsh getting the stick in there as Manser hops back into the game and takes a stab at it. Glove saved by Bartuka. It was a good job this period was sustained pressure down in Norwood's end. That definitely a power play helped and that momentum I think is leading them to having a great second period here. Five on five as well. So far in this second period, it's a three nothing advantage for the Hillers. Pass Aiden Walsh and Norwood might have something here. Here comes Russo and he's gonna be tied up with Walsh and Sheamus. Sending it around Manser. Along the near side boards, it's jammed up as Terry was trying to get it out of the grasp of Spadorcia. Now here comes Carraza. Sent over to the near side, a Gover gets a stick on it, but sending it right back was Manser. Tied up in the neutral zone now. And a big hit by Sheamus delivered along the near side to Gover. And Carraza tracks it down. Carrazzo would like his second goal of the season today. Jammed up along the near side. Sheamus trying to sneak it out to Rodgers. 
And Rogers taking all kinds of contact from Spinorsi is still able to get it over to Hamlet. Hamlet trying to get it back to Rogers. Rogers didn't see where the puck went and could not get the shot off as soon as he wanted. And here comes Norwood. Mateer sends it out in front. Jarrett sneaks in there. And he'll match up with Mateer. Barnes trying to sneak it out. Here comes Mara. He'll send it over to Rogers. Rogers up the far side, takes a shot, and it's a goal! What a beauty by Kyle Rogers! Great effort there by Rogers. Made a nice move around the outside, going to slit it around the defenseman, went right around him, and boy, does he have a shot. Put uh, that laser in there. That is his 20th goal of the season and 32nd point overall. Will actually make that 33rd point. He had the assist on the last goal. That goal comes with 1.32 left to go in the period, and how about that, a 4-0 period so far for the Hillers. Yeah, explosion here by the Hillers this period. Boothroyd up the far side. Maybe I was wrong when I said this wouldn't be an 8-1 kind of game. We'll see. Still a long way to go, of course. Yeah, look, it was tight through that first period. That foul play just is the difference in the game so far. Well, it certainly is. You know, they, and Norwood had one earlier. There's a shot by Saperoshitz turned away, and then Kirk got the stick in there on a secondary attempt. But just missed the puck. Tolman up behind the net. Gets tied up with Kirk. Weinstock gets in there, stolen away by Kirk. Kirk sends it out looking for Quinlan. Saperoshitz sends it back down. Tremendous pressure by the Hillers in the last couple of minutes. 45 seconds left to go in the period, and we'll have a face-off on the icing call. Yes, that's really been the story of the game. You know, Norwood had their five-minute major first and was not really able to do anything with it. And the Hillers took full advantage of their five-minute major. Well, Norwood did get one goal off of it, and that was their only goal of the game. Yep. But they've had two other opportunities, actually make that, th I believe, three other opportunities, and they came up empty. The Hillers done a good job so far on the kill. They certainly have. Marchant working up the near side. It's jammed up with Terry. Manser trying to send it up, takes a hit. Along the corner now, and Terry getting in there. Jared Shea takes a big hit from Terry. Jammed up now. And it's dropped by Russo. And he was able to get a quick shot off. Sheamus over to Terry. Here comes the Hillers, Carraza. Carraza sends it back to Terry. And Terry was looking for a shot there. And there's Sheamus with a one-timer, and it's going to be wrapped up. Brandon Bartuka with the save. Two seconds left in the second period. I have a feeling on this faceoff, it's going to be a quick pass back and a shot by Sheamus. That's if Carraza is able to win it, of course. It'll be Carraza up against Marchant. Over the corner it goes, and what a great period for the Hillers. They outscore Norwood in the period, 4-0. They lead it 5-1, heading to the final 15 minutes of regulation. Impressive stuff that period, Eric. Yeah, and the Hillers, you know, they're down there leading point scorer in, in Walsh, and first three goals coming from defensemen was a huge lift, and then you get your uh, other score, top scorers, uh, Pavitt and um, Kyle Rogers chipping in at the end there to give the Hillers a good solid lead. Well, still a whole lot of hockey left to be played. Norwood will certainly uh, look to put some pressure on in the third period, but the Hillers are looking good as we head to period number three after two. It's Hopkinton five, Norwood one. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the third period. The Hopkinton Hillers are leading Norwood 5-1 as they 
put up four goals in the second period and took big advantage of a Norwood five minute major. And they look to continue the success that they had in that period into the third and we are underway. Norwood with a lot of work to do to get back into this game. Weinstock along the far side trying to steal it away. Flipped up by Saperoshitz towards Kirk. Caught up with by Leiden for Norwood. Saperoshitz sends it back up and around. And Eric, I said earlier in the game as Kirk trying to turn it around, there's a shot turned away. Weinstock was in on the action as well. And Eric, I said early on in the broadcast that penalty, that uh, avoiding the penalty box is a key to this game. And uh, I think uh, that came to be true as we saw from Norwood last period as Quinlan working up the ice. It certainly did, and it's gonna work that way for the Hillers. So they wanna make sure they stay out of the box this period. Don't let them get back in it. We have a new goaltender for Norwood. Ethan Barrows takes over between the pipes for the Mustangs. Pavit Mera sends it up. And that's towards Manser, and he nearly put it through the five hole. But just able to make the stop was the sophomore goaltender, Ethan Barrows. And Tommy Hamill right in front just couldn't get a stick on it to redirect that. With 13.59 left in the third, we will have a face-off between Pavit Mira and Nick Spadorcia. Picked up by Boothroyd, sends it up the far side. Seamus gets a stick in there. Here comes Ledger sending it down at airside boards. Manser's tied up as he was being pushed away by Mateer. Now sent up and around. Seamus will track it down. And that is flipped out of play. Off the <laughs> stick of Gover. This faceoff will come with 13.35 left to go in the period. Cam Jarrett up against Miles Kidd on the faceoff. Or actually make that Pavit Mera up against Miles Kidd. Sends it over to Jarrett. Along the near side. Norwood trying to swing it around up behind the net. That's Miles Kidd. Mera sends it towards Hamblet. Good by, work by Mera down in the corner. Dooley with possession. Dooley looking for a shot, sends it just wide. Jarrett picks it up, flips it along the far side. Now it's gonna be taken by Terry, sends it over to Rogers. Rogers looking for a shot, just a little bit wide there. Jarrett will track it down. Just under 13 minutes left to play in this third period. On the boards it goes, tracked down by Shea for Norwood. He'll send it back around towards Leiden along the near side. He'll take a big hit from Gilbert. And now here comes Marchant, and Marchant takes a big hit, but able to send it out, and there's a shot by Russo, and it's gonna be deflected off of Bailey. Nice stop there by Bailey. Along the far side. Raza sends it up and towards the neutral zone. Popped off the glass by Boothroyd. That just stayed in play. Up and around goes Carraza. He was looking for Weinstock, who will send it up into Norwood territory. Pretty good pressure by the Mustangs to open up this third period. 12-10 yeah. left to go. Norwood knows if they're going to get back on this, if they got to get one here quick and get the momentum back on the side. But they're really showing that they can skate the hill speed-wise. The hill has got to be careful here. Dan Kirk up against Harry Gover. Sent up and around by Catalano. Sheamus over towards Quinlan. Mark Shannon was trying to get in there and sent out by Boothroyd now. Manser delivering a push to Spadorcia. Tied up along the corner, and now trying to sneak it away is Weinstock. Weinstock trips up, and he's back to his skate. Sends it out in front. Quinlan couldn't get there. A little too much in front of him. Now with possession, it's Catalano for Norwood as we approach 11 and a half left to go. Here comes Mateer. Sends it out. Looking for a shot here, and it's a goal. Harry Gover for Norwood. 
Well, the Mustangs aren't ready to throw in the towel yet. And they have been certainly winning the possession battle in this third period so far, and they make it a 5-2 to two game. Yep, they will use that uh, good breakout of their own. They'll bring that puck up the ice. and uh, Again, they've got the same speed as the hill as the other. They'll match it. Made a nice move. Just got around the defense there and got a nice shot off. It's the ninth goal of the season for the Norwood senior, Harry Gover. Jarrett up the near side. Popped off the boards, Jarrett. Sends it up and takes a big hit as well in the process. Ledger gets a stick on it. And Hiller's trying to provide some pressure now and return the favor. Jarrett jammed up along the boards. Trying to sneak it out. Now Hamlet gets in there. And Hamlet jammed up with a couple of Mustangs, but Mare is able to just sneak it out. We'll send it up to Barnes, who will take a shot. And that puck is loose out in front, and it's now covered up by Barrows. A nice tip, got that puck to go through the goaltender's legs and just sitting there, but he was able to fall right down on it before any other hiller could get to it. And that time it didn't go past the <laughs> goal line. Well, the hillers returning the favor pressure-wise as Dan Kirk up against Jack Leiden. Gilbert trying to track it down. Leiden sends it over. Norwood trying to work it back in Ehlers territory. Saperoschitz trying to get there, but we'll have an icing. And Barrows, the uh, netminder, came in. He's a lot bigger body. He's got to take a lot more room in that net. We'll see uh, how the sophomore does against this aggressive, speedy Hillers team. Weinstock. It's locked up with Leiden now along the far side, getting a shot in there with Saperoschitz. Weinstock delivering a nice hit over to Leiden. Kirk trying to come away with it. Now Gilbert will get in there and deliver a big hit. And uh, we might have go. a penalty here, yeah. Yeah, a little bit high with a hit. After Kirk made a great job, or did a great job keeping that puck in, good forecheck. Well, Norwood is going to have a two minute power play, and that is not what you want if you're the Hillers. No, you were, you know, giving up an early goal and then going down a man after giving that goal up is not what the Hillers were looking forward to. They gotta get back on track, get Hillers penalty off, and let's get back on their good dump and chase game. It looks like we're gonna have a timeout 10 minutes, 11 seconds left to go. Timeout on the ice. That gives us an opportunity to remind you that HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. A 5-2 Hillers lead, but Norwood about to have a man advantage for the next two minutes. The Hillers penalty kill has been very good so far today. They did give up one power play goal on the five minute major in the first period, but they have killed off three other Norwood power plays, so we shall see. Dan Kirk will be in on the faceoff for Hopkinton. Up against Jake Russo. Looking for a shot here, light in, and he nearly snuck that in. Just a little bit wide. Yeah, that didn't miss by much. It was a big part of the net that was pretty open. Seamus getting tied up behind the net as Quinlan sends it up. Barrows sets it up. Approaching a minute 30 left on the power play. Quinlan getting the stick in there and here comes Norwood and a big hit delivered and Norwood's gonna have a two man advantage I think. Yeah, Seamus a little bit too much stick. Norwood to uh, try to go around him. He got a little bit of stick on him. It's going to be five on three. Big kill here for the Hillers. 
Marchand was flying up the ice and a big hit was delivered by Sheamus. And it looks like there's some confusion with Manser and Sheamus. I think Manser thought he was supposed to go as well. well apparently he is. So it is going to be a five on three situation. Barnes trying to dig it out. Norwood with a big opportunity here to make it a two goal game. Sent back to Gover. Along the far side now. The possession is light and there's a shot up and around it goes. The Hillers will have one man back in about a minute as that is sent over by Spadorcia. Gover. Trying to send it up the far side towards Marchant. Marchant back to Gover. Now Marchant sends it out towards Leiden. Leiden pops it out and it is nearly taken by Marchant. He's trying to set him up there. A good defense by the Hillers and Quentin Barnes getting in there. Kirk doing a great job on top, not letting good passes. Through. That shot by Jack Lydon a little bit wide. 19 seconds left on one of the power plays. As the Hillers make a change, Will Quidlin and Drew Saparoshitz are out there, and there goes the puck out of play. Yeah, that's just the perfect way to play the five on three. A good triangle. Dan Kirk had a stick act of wasn't letting Norwood get anything set up. They were passing the puck up high on the blue line, but having trouble getting it down low. It's a great kill to start. So Norwood has a man advantage for another eight, or two man advantage for another eight seconds, and then a man advantage for about 30 seconds after that. Rogers up the ice, and he's going to be deferred by Catalano. I thought Rogers was going to have a two man shorthanded goal there, and he's jammed up along the boards. Just able to get a stick on it. And here comes Norwood. And actually, I think since the Hillers had to send two to the box, it looks like there was some seconds uh, added to the first penalty. Yeah, as soon as that first one ends, they start the second one. Catching up with it is lighting up the near side. Here comes Mateer. Mateer and Saparoshitz do battle along the boards as he'll send it back to Ledger. Ledger looking for a shot, a misfire there, and it's sent down by Rogers. So it's now a man advantage for Norwood for the next minute and 17 seconds. So the Hillers did get one back. We'll see if they can keep the kill going. Lydon up the far side. Lydon with a shot turned away by Bailey. Along the near side, Saparosius gets it out to Kirk. Sent back towards Marchand, and it got by him into the neutral zone it goes. Marchand working it back up the ice. He has speed, and he's going to be deterred by Sheamus. Saparosius gets in there. Marchant trying to sneak it out. Sent over now to Leiden. Leiden sends it up. Marchant trying to turn it around and it's turned away by Bailey. Now there's another shot turned away by Bailey off the stick of Spadorcia and the Hiller is able to get it out of their zone. 25 seconds left on the Norwood power play. Six minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Up the near side, Russo sends it out. There's a shot, and it's going to be wrapped up by Bailey off the stick of Harry Gover. And some extracurricular activity happening as well. We'll see if anybody's going. Yeah, they oh, boy. A penalty for after the whistle. Yep. Quentin Barnes is going to go, so the Hillers will have some more uh, work to do on the penalty kill. That is the last thing you want right now. Yeah, you got to be disciplined when you're just killing off a five on three twice in the last You're 12 period, seconds so. away. Now you got to kill off two more minutes. And the Hillers have some confusion out there. I think they're going to call a timeout here, get them settled. The Hillers ended up having to use one of their timeouts. 6.21 left to go in the third period, 11 seconds Left on the initial penalty, then you got 
two minutes on the new <laughs> penalty, you might say, by Quentin Barnes. It's been a uh, penalty fest today, Eric. In the first period, it was the Hillers uh, being the guilty party. In the second period, it was Norwood. In the third period, it's back to trending towards the Hillers being the yep. instigators here. Yeah, they just want to be smart here. They want to kill us off and then really with a 5-2 lead, just play smart hockey. Want to get the puck in deep. No need to take chances. Just they've got a real good forecheck going. They just play solid defense. They've got a good forecheck and, and run the clock down here. But you've got, to, you've got to be smart here at the end of the game. Can't take penalties after the whistle, especially. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hoptent.com. A 5-2 Hillers lead to recap the scoring today. It was Cam Jarrett scoring the first goal of the game with 13-19 left in the first period. Then Connor Leiden scored for Norwood as the Hillers... We're down a man due to the five minute major. And then you had Andrew Gilbert make it a two to one game in the second period. And the Hillers scored three more goals in addition to that in the second period to go up five to one. Norwood with the only goal so far of this third period. He's coming around with it, is lighted. Back to the blue line now. Marchant with a wrister, a little wide to the right. Jarrett catches up with it, sends it over to Gilbert. So one of the power, one of the penalties is done, but now it is going to be a man advantage for Norwood. A minute 35 remaining on that as Rogers turns it around and it is going to be stopped by Barrows. What a great play by Rogers. He was down there to kill the penalty and he made a nice move coming out front with four Norwood players to stand there. He got a good shot off. And that one nearly did go past the uh, goal line, but Barrows just able to stop it. Rogers has had some incredible shots in this game. Sent out by Russo. Here comes Marchant. Marchant flying up the ice. He'll match up with Gilbert in the corner. Nice turn away there by Gilbert. Sends it down and it's taken by Leiden. Now across over and there's a quick shot there by Russo. Picked up by Leiden. Sent over to Marchant. Jarrett gets the stick in there. Jarrett flips it up the ice. Leiden pops it off the boards. And we get a whistle. I think it's going to be offsides call here. Intentional too. We're going to send it all the way down to the Norwood end. So we'll have a faceoff in the Norwood end. 5-13 remaining in the third period. The Hiller is up by three. 52 seconds left on the Norwood power play. And hopefully there won't be another one. Dan Kirk along the near side, sends it around. Although the Hillers are certainly getting a whole lot of practice at the penalty kill in this game, Eric. Yeah, they've actually got some, a good unit out there. Again, Dan Kirk's had some great kills so far in this game. Gover working it up the ice. Sheamus trying to get there. Sheamus will match up with Gover along the near side corner. Gover looking to send it out. And just past the reach of Leiden. A little mishandle there. Sends it over to Marchant. 15 seconds left on the power play. Kirk. Quinlan gets the stick on it. Into Norwood territory it goes. And things are looking good on this penalty kill for the Hillers. Five seconds left. And Rogers trying to steal it away from Marchant. Nearly did so. Mara gets in there. We are at even strength now. Sent around to the near side, and here comes Norwood. Go, trying to race up the ice is Catalano. He gets jammed up by a herd of Hillers. Hamlet with the puck coming up the far side. Hamlet dealing with some interference from Ledger. Hamlet comes around with it, trying to turn it around. He's trying to find Mara there, who was right in front of the net. Good luck. And Mara with a shot turned away by Barrows. Sent over by Rogers, and now along the near side. Back and forth we go in Norwood territory as Spadorcia sends it up, and a big hit delivered along the far side boards. Sheamus gets to it, over to Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz will wrap it around, tracked down by Catalano. 
Catalano trying to work it up the ice. And perhaps Norwood has an attack here. Mateer up against Gilbert. Mateer with a backhander turned away. Another good save by Gray Bailey. But Bailey has had some incredible saves in this game, Eric. He has. He has. Them. The Hill is what a great draw. Exactly what they want to do. Kill that penalty off. And they had some good zone time down in Norwood's end. Three minutes left to go in the game as that shot turned away by Gilbert. And then it's going to be have to be wrapped up by Bailey off a secondary attempt by Kidd. And Hillers uh, might have got a little break there. Yeah, the Hill is doing a good job keeping the front of the net clear. Bailey's been having some good looks at those shots, some good hard shots. He's making some great saves, but he had some good looks at him. Face off in Hiller's territory between Carraza and Finese. Wrapped up by Bailey. Two fifty remaining in this game. The Hillers up by three, trying to improve to fourteen and one on the season. And Sarah will swing it around up the far side. And of course, the Hillers would stay undefeated at home as well if they're able to hang on to this lead. Terry working up the near side board, sends it over out in front, but Carraza didn't have a reach on it. Carraza sends it behind the net over to Aiden Walsh. And popped off the boards there by Norwood. Shea and jammed up now is going to be Dooley. There's a shot by Fenizzi turned away. Manser works it up towards Terry. Here comes Carraza. Carraza wraps it around. Approaching two minutes left to go in the game. It's a smart play there by Carraza. Get that puck in deep and then go to work and keep it inside the zone. Towards the neutral zone it goes. Gilbert will track it down. It's going to be a busy week for the Hillers. They had that week off, but three games in the next five nights or so. You got today's game, Monday night against Oliver Ames. Then Wednesday is senior night against Holliston. Of course, we'll be there for all the games as Gray Bailey wraps up the attempt from Marchand. Norwood being real aggressive after the initial saves. I think they're trying to go the hill as players and take on another one here, but they're playing discipline now. So who's getting your uh, three stars for this game? Well, I, I had to give it to the defense. I mean, they scored the first three goals of the game, really got the momentum going on the hill side. So. Defense has played great on the penalty kill. I got to go Rogers, Jarrett, and Bailey. <laughs> Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert up the near side. And Gilbert's also a consideration. He had a great game defensively as well. We'll send it over to Saperoshitz. Quick shot there. And right now the Hiller is just trying to play a little keep away as we approach a minute left to go. And a Mustang tripped up. That was Graham tripping up, but there to pick up the puck is Gillis. Quinlan gets the stick in there. Working up the ice, Miles Kidd for Norwood. He'll take a quick shot, glove saved by Bailey. He'll have a face off with 58 seconds left to go in this game. We want to wish a congratulations to the Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball team. They clinched a playoff spot last night with their victory over Medfield. Certainly look forward to seeing Hillers boys basketball in the postseason as well. And hopefully the Hillers girls team could join them. We'll have to see. Here comes Toko. Toko looking for a shot. Just a little bit wide there. And it's going to be flipped to the near side by de Blasi. Picked up by Barnes. Rogers coming up the far side. Rogers turns it around and takes a shot. Turned away by Barrows. Twice he's made that play with a nice pass out front. Barnes trying to get there. A good defense there by Barnes. Here comes Barnes. I think he's going to try to pop in a goal. Why not? There's a shot. And it's a glove saved by Barrows. And Barnes did a great job breaking up two defenders in the Norwood, in the Hopkins and end from Norwood and then bringing it down and getting a good shot on that. 15 seconds left to go in this game. And I heard a rumor that the Hillers prefer to end games with an even number of goals, so that's why they're really going to go for another one here. I don't know if it's true, though. 
Rogers along the corner. Toko gets a stick in there. Toko sends it out. Off the a defender it went. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take the victory over the Norwood Mustangs by a final of 5-2. to two. Eric, you played a good Norwood team today, overcame many Norwood power play situations, and you beat a team that has been red hot as of late. This is an impressive win today by the Hillers. Yeah, it really is. It's a character win for sure after you know losing your first game of the season, having that week off, and then coming out and playing a really good team in Norway. They you know, matched them speed for speed. They had plenty of opportunities and chances, but the Hillers uh, fought them the whole way and came out in the top five to two. That's a real good character win. Well, the Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Norwood Mustangs five to two. Norwood falls to 12, two and two on the season. The Hillers are now 14, one and oh. An impressive win by the Hopkinton Hillers as they head into a week that features their final two regular season home games of the year. We'll certainly look forward to being with you Monday night as they take on Oliver Reams out of the Hockamock. Should be a good battle on Monday night. That game's at 6 o'clock. And then Wednesday, they host Hollison at 8 p.m. But the final score for the final time here today, the Hopkinton Hillers victorious over the Norwood Mustangs 5-2. For Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on H Camp. Take care, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you again soon.